1968 D. Kennedy half dollar, indented by a half dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this half dollar was struck normally the first time, then a new planchet was inserted into the press, but it was a quarter sized planchet that was struck by the half dollar press first, thus the indent shows the flattened eagle of the half dollar along with Kennedy's head incus. A few surface scratches on the obverse cheek of Kennedy, perhaps from the ejection process. This error half was sold for $2,350. Number 6. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS-61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. Number 5. 1999 P. Connecticut State Quarter struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A fully struck medium gold example with intense satin luster to both sides. The Connecticut counterpart to the Pennsylvania State Quarter that is also struck on the same kind of experimental manganese alloy planchet. This one ended up selling for $2,880. Number 4. 1919 D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 65 plus red by PCGS. According to NGC, though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for cent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940 when another war loomed. This issue is common in all grades, and some of the finest early date Lincolns are 1919 P cents. Though the amazingly detailed obverse hub of 1916 had already lost of some of its finer features, well-struck examples of this issue from fresh dyes are still quite pleasing when measured against the grossly distorted images from the 1940s-60s. This elusive penny was sold for $3,544.88 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1914 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 64 Red. This one comes with CAC sticker for premium quality for the issue. According to Heritage Auctions, although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914D stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln Cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, it is many times scarcer in MS-65 red than the 1909 SVDB, and is prohibitively rare any finer. This gem ended up selling for $14,231.25 with buyer's fee on December 3, 2023. Number 2. 1963 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Type A Reverse. A beautifully toned superb gem. Jade green, golden brown, powder blue, and plum red endow this lustrous and well-preserved silver type coin. The present example is the finest certified by PCGS. It was sold for $11,162.50. Number 1. 1963 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Bell Lines by PCGS. John R. Sinek's half-dollar design featuring Benjamin Franklin was not due for replacement until 1973 according to the 25-year rule, but the shocking assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963 saw a swift movement to memorialize him on a coin, leaving Franklin and the Liberty Bell in the cold. This Philadelphia example from 1963 is notable for its full bell lines detail on the reverse. Bright luster is largely silver but has patches of gold and yellow toning on each side, more visibly the obverse. It ended up selling for $27,025. That's all folks. If you have one of these rare gems leave a comment down, below this video. And don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. Take care.